I own vending machines. For the last two years, I had a vending machine business. And in this video, I'm gonna show you different accessories and gadgets that you need to make your vending machine life a lot easier. The first item that you need when starting your vending machine business, this is gonna save you a lot of time. This is gonna save you a lot of headache is you need a wagon. Like before I had a wagon, what I used to do was I used to go back and forth to my car. This wagon can save you a lot of time because it, you could put all the snacks and drink on this wagon to bring up to the location. Because sometimes, your location is like a far walk from where you park your car. So if you have this wagon, it can save you so much time. Everything I talk about in this video, you could probably find it on Amazon and Sam's Club and I'm gonna link it down in the description. This car has saved me so much time, guys. Saved me so much time, saved me so much energy. One trip to bring all the items into the vending machine location, one trip to bring out all the items in the vending machine location. This car only cost me $60. I think it ranges from $60 to $80 and this is gonna help you out extremely. The next item that you need when it comes to starting your vending machine business or having a vending machine business is you're going to need stuff to sort out your money. You're gonna need stuff to sort out your coins, right? So I have these coin rolls. Before I had these coin rolls, uh, I said corn rolls, like you're in your hair. Before I had these coin rolls, I used to put all my coins into like this jar. And then I found these on Amazon. I'm like, wow, why did I have these before? These coin things save me like a lot of time and it's easier when it comes to bringing my money to the bank. Now when I usually go to places like Sam's Club or stores, if I don't have any money, I usually give them like rolls of coins because this is easier to manage, it's easier to hold your money in. And this only costs $6 and you get, I get them from Staples. So it's quarters, nickels, and dimes. Also, I got this from Amazon. These are money straps. I don't, need, I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. So basically you put the straps around the money. Who would have thought about that? Also, for the coin things, before I had like things to sort out my coins, I used to put like quarters in rows of four and I used to put them all across my desk. Probably the most ghetto thing I did, but I, I didn't have the coin rolls. I'm saying coin rolls, not coin rolls. Not, not the thing in your hair. Coin, coin rolls. But these straps, I think it's a must because it helps you organize your money better and it looks cooler. Like when I'm doing videos or when I'm going to the bank, it's cool to like hand them like, yo, here's my stacks and 100s or I'm going to like a store or something. It looks pretty cool. This is one thing, right? What saved me so much time? I got this from Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you guys real quick. Uh, it's heavy. Uh. Take a look at this, guys. This is called a Casita C200. You guys seen this a lot in my videos. This is super amazing. So what you need to do with this is you take your coins, you put them all in here, and it sorts out all your coins. So this makes the time so much faster. I'm telling you guys, if you wanna start a vending machine, make sure that you invest in this, especially if you're getting a lot of coins, because you don't wanna have to manually put the, the coins in these coin rolls. And the good thing about this, let me show you guys. See, I already have almost a coin roll done. The good thing about this, See guys, like there's already some quarters in here. The good thing about this is that it comes with these things. So basically it sorts all the money out for you. So my quarters, my nickels, my dimes, my dollar coins, and it makes the process so much faster. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace for $80, but you could probably find it on Amazon for about $200. Look on Facebook Marketplace first, because Facebook Marketplace always has some great finds. You can always find some cool stuff on Facebook Marketplace. But this is going for, I think it's going for about $200. I could be wrong, $150 to $200. $200, but guys, this is amazing. This will save you hours of time, trust me. And this gets really full. Like there's times I put $300 worth of coins in this machine and probably 10, 15 minutes just to sort them all out. So your coin rolls paired with your thing, game changer. So the next thing that you need when it comes to vending machines is you need a toolkit. You'll need a toolkit that has wrenches, screwdrivers, and you guys are going to need a drill. People ask me all the time like, hey Donald, is there a lot of maintenance when it comes to vending machines? But let me tell you guys something. Everything that you see on a vending machine, you could probably fix. You could change coin mechs. This is this right here is a coin mech. This is where all the change goes into, right? So you'll put your nickels, your dimes, your quarters. This is how people get back their change. All this stuff you could probably replace with a screwdriver, with a drill you could replace it but you guys are going to need a toolkit invest in a toolkit you could change bill validators the bill validator is what the money goes through so you see like this the flashes this is how the money goes through and stuff and this is where you guys see me like collect the money and stuff oh hella dust the reason why a drill is so important because in my experience me and Sarah Kate spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars getting people to drill our locks when we could have done it ourselves so invest in a good drill the drill is gonna help you change out locks certain vending machines you're gonna have to drill holes four holes and then one in the middle, you wanna make sure that you have a drill. The drill needs to have gold tips. Gold tips are gonna help you screw into your lock 
For example, let's say you lose the keys for your vending machine. You can't just go buy another key. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to drill the lock. If you want to put a car reader on your vending machines, you're going to have to do four holes in your vending machine and one in the middle to um, attach the car reader on the vending machine. So you need a gold tip drill. I mean, you need a drill and you need golden drill bits. Like, trust me guys, this is gonna save you a lot of time and money. People were charging us $200 to replace locks on our vending machine, and we could have probably done it for $50. So I'm telling you this now so you guys can save money when it comes to your vending machine business. The next item that you're gonna need, I probably should have paired this with a coin thing, is you're going to need a, a money counter. The money counter, it's not like a need, but it's for more convenience to save you more time because time is your most valuable asset. A lot of times I have a lot of dollar bills. So this machine allows me to sort out the dollar bills quickly before I had this machine I was just counting the dollar bills and you can only count so many dollar bills so oh I bought this for $20 the guy sold me the coin counter and this thing for $90 together I found this deal on Facebook marketplace I know you probably might not find it but you probably get one of these for a hundred hundred fifty dollars this machine is gonna help you count money faster so when you count your money you set it up to be like oh I wanted to take a hundred dollar bills you take that money you wrap around your um your things and then you take the money to the bank and lastly the fifth thing that you're gonna need is you're going to need some cleaning supplies invest in some Windex to clean off your windows especially if you have glass front machines you want to make sure that you could clean off the windows clean off the coils for the vending machine you want to make sure that the vending machine is clean my vending machine mentor always says you need a clean full vending machine in order to make sure that you're making a profit in order to make sure that you're making a lot of money hopefully this video helps you guys on what you need like essential items for your vending machine I wish I knew this stuff before starting my vending machine business even though like it seems like self-explanatory people really don't understand how hard it is to count coins or to count so much money and how dirty the money is and you need to wash your hands a lot. You wanna make sure that you invest in these products, invest in your business to make the time faster so you could do more stuff. Oh, also, I didn't even mention this. I didn't even mention this. You wanna invest in some bank bags. I get comments all the time when I put my money in like um, boxes. People are like, oh, that's so ghetto. Why don't you get a pencil case? Why don't you do, but I have bank bags. Let me tell you guys a quick story time. One time I took out the money and I didn't have my bank bags and the location, they saw how much money I make and then they started selling snacks too but because they couldn't keep up with the demand for snacks they had to shut down selling the snacks keep in mind don't show people how much you make because when you start showing like the people in your location how much you make they might want a commission they might want to cut your money they might start competing with you like my location is so you want to make sure that you get bank bags it looks very professional it's just very quick you just take out the money put it right into the bank bag zip up the bank bag and you're off on your merry way sometimes when we didn't have bank bags we used to put like the coins and the change in our pockets and no and you know when we're walking you just hear like the chains like like the change in their pockets and stuff like that so you want to invest in bank bags if you guys got this far to this video put greatness down in the comments and i'm gonna see you guys on the next video peace